Hey guys, it's Daniel. The following is from Jim Morrison, where he talks about the future of music, and in particular, rock music. Quote, The thing they call rock, what used to be called rock and roll, it got decadent. The initial flash is over. And then there was a revival sparked by the English. That went very far. It was articulate. Then it became self-conscious, which I think is the death of any movement. It became self-conscious, involuted, and kind of incestuous. The energy is gone. There is no longer a belief. I think that for any generation to assert itself as an aware human entity, it has to break with the past. So, obviously the kids that are coming along next, they're not going to have much in common with what we feel. They're going to create their own unique sound. Things like wars and monetary cycles get involved too. Rock and roll. It was after the Korean War ended, and there was a psychic purge. There seemed to be a need for an underground explosion, like an eruption. So maybe, after the Vietnam War is over, it'll probably take a couple of years, maybe it's hard to say, but it's possible that the deaths will end in a couple of years, and there will again be a need for a life force to express itself. I was saying rock is dead years ago. What rock means to me, for example, in one period 20 or 30 years ago, jazz was the kind of music people went to and large crowds danced and moved to it. And then, rock and roll replaced it. And then another generation came along, and they called it rock. The new generation of kids will come along in a few years, swarm together, and have a new name for it. It'll be the kind of music that people like to go out to. Each generation wants new symbols, new people, new names. They want to divorce themselves from the preceding generation. They won't call it rock. Don't you see a cyclical thing every five or ten years when everyone comes together and warms and breaks apart? When you think of rock, it's not mind music. I mean, if you couldn't understand the words, there'd still be everything there to react to. I think the two types of music indigenous to this country are the black music, blues, and the kind of folk music that was brought over from Europe. I guess they call it country music or West Virginia high and lonesome sound. Those are the two mainstreams of root American music, and there might be others around. But it looks like 10 years ago, what they called rock and roll was kind of a blending of those two forms. I guess what's happening now is that rock is kind of dying out and everyone's going back to their roots again. Some are going back into country, and some are going back into basic blues. That's why I like blues and jazz musicians, country musicians. They just keep on exploring their own music. Sometimes they're right on time, and the public finds something in it that expresses the time. And sometimes they're out of favor. But I think for musicians and poets, artists in general, just to keep exploring their own field. And if you're popular, go with it. And if you go out of favor, just keep doing it, you know. I guess in four or five years, the new generation's music will have a synthesis of those two elements, jazz and blues. And some third thing that will, maybe it'll be, it might rely heavily on electronics, tapes. I can kind of envision maybe one person with a lot of machines, tapes and electronic setups, singing or speaking and using machines.